Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and today's card and video is for this week's Color Throwdown Challenge. And I was filming at a right time that it's, well, one, overcast and two, the lighting was really good so I was able to use my glass mat, which is perfect because I do love my glass mat for ink blending. It just, oh. Glass mat, the Tim Holtz media mat, this glass mat with my picket fence life-changing blending brushes are like a match made in heaven. So, anywho, I had die cut some tan colored cardstock using Simon's pretzel wafer dies. I used the French fry or the fries wafer dies the other day and um, wanted to use the pretzel one as well. I've had so many people asking me for, you know, ideas using these. So I pulled out the pretzel wafer die and I die cut the cardstock. And I used, first I used Simon's Khaki ink. And it goes on fairly dark, but like any ink of this style, it, you know, smooths out and blends um, as it dries, which you don't really see as much. You can kind of see it on the one I pulled in on the right there that had time to dry. So I also added a little bit of dark chocolate and just lightly blended that in as well. You know, give it that kind of more cooked look to these little pretzels. And then I played around before I started filming because I wanted to add the, you know, something that looked like the big chunks of salt you usually see on pretzels. And the best combo I discovered was to use my Tonic Nouveau Crystal Drops. It's gloss white. And I did a silly picture on Instagram yesterday um, showing how I warm these up. I literally stick them in my bra. Um, <laughs> just a random tip for you. I wasn't expecting the amount of, you know, comments and reactions to that picture. It was just funny. But yeah, if you have problems with your crystal drops and they're not smoothing out because I get asked this a lot, warm them up. If your room is cold or if the bottles are not like at a nice, like basically almost like body temperature, um, they won't smooth out very much. So I just let it warm up. And then with these, I just did little tiny little dabs all over the pretzels. And then I held them with my tweezers. And I have this big jar of Rock Candy Distress Stickles Glitter, which is fabulous. If you don't own this, this is definitely one you need. This glitter is amazing. One, it's not staticky. It's like this weird, miraculous product. And two, it's not super reflective like other glitters. It's very different in that sense. So it works for so many things. Like I love it for snow. For this, it was perfect because it kind of just added that texture and the look of like salt. So it was just perfect. So I sprinkled that over the crystal drops and then just set those aside to completely dry. So now they're done. And then to create my card, I'm using just random different elements here. Like this sending wafer die from Simon. This came out a few years ago. This was... I had to work my butt off to get this wafer die. It was when it was came out, it was super, super popular. It was sold out everywhere. Like every time I'd try to get an order in, it kept selling out. It just, I worked hard to get this wafer die. There's the sending and the wishing and just the font and everything. They're fabulous. I've used this so many times over the years. It's definitely one of my favorites. So I ran some sea glass cardstock through my little Xyron X sticker machine to put adhesive on the back of it. And then I die cut those pieces with that sending wafer die. And then I'm just going to peel off the backing and stack all three layers together. And when I'm doing, especially with dies like this, that's where my little Xyron X is so perfect because I've got the adhesive already. These are very, kind. I wouldn't like, I guess you'd call it delicate. Um, you know, they got the fine little areas and getting everything stacked. And I kind of start in the middle and then just work my way out. And the nice thing with the Xyron adhesive is you have a ton of time and wiggle room to move things around. It's not until you really press it down that it really adheres. So I can kind of fiddle and not have to worry about moving quickly like you do with liquid adhesive and a dye like this where you want to get, you know, everything lined up because otherwise it's not going to look great. So I did that and then I included this. Usually I edit this out because I'm like fiddling with such a tiny little thing, but I get questions about this too. What do I, how do I work with the little tiny dots with sentiments when I'm stacking sentiments like this? Usually I'm just, I use my fingers and my die pick. This, my die pick and my reverse tweezers if you don't own these, you need them. These are like must have tools. I use my die pick pretty much every single time I make a card, whether you see it in a video or not. My reverse tweezers use all the time. The die pick especially though, I'll just hold the little dot of cardstock in my finger. I use the die pick to remove the backing and then I'll literally use the die pick to kind of stick to the backing and then stack them together that way. So it takes a little fiddling, but in the end, it's kind of worth it. And if worse comes to worst and I've just, I've lost the dots or, you know, cause they're tiny, I'll just use the one layer and stick it on and not worry about it. 
So whatever works <laughs> or, or I've shown in other videos that there have been times I use a little like jewel or something to dot the die cut sentiment just cause. So after I have my sentiment stacked, I'd also die cut some um, doodle bug pattern paper. It's the dot straight rainbows with a Simon nested heart wafer die. And then I have another piece of the sea glass cardstock. And I also have this piece of, this is Gina K honey mustard. And it's funny, I, if anyone remembers, Stampin' Up! used to have a, it was, was it more mustard? I think that was the color way back in the day, which I'm not the biggest fan of like the fall tones and everything. Like I'm, you know, I like bright colors, but that was just one of those colors that was just, I reached for so often and I'm pretty sure they had retired it. And then MFT had a color that was very similar to it. And I don't know if they still have it or not, but Gina K has this, it's in the autumn rainbow pack and all links, just like links to everything. It is very similar, very, very, very close. It is gorgeous. I love it. So I pulled that out and I'm stamping sentiments from the I Choose You stamp set onto the sea glass and onto that one. And I ended up heat embossing them with some tonic dark chocolate or hot chocolate embossing powder. Usually I do white, but this color combo had like brown and saffron and a really light blue and yellow. So I use brown embossing powder. This has a bit of a um, almost a, not quite metallic finish, but it does have a finish, which was difficult to get a proper picture of in the end because it kind of, yeah, it has that little bit of metallic finish to it. It's really pretty. So after I had heat embossed both those sentiments, I die cut them with the nested talk bubbles wafer die for the sea glass one and the, um, sentiment labels wafer die for the longer sentiment. And then I'm just using a combination of craft tacky glue and thin 3D foam squares to adhere everything. So I adhered that die cut cart heart to my card base and then trimmed off the excess with my scissors. And then I adhered one of these pretzels to the heart with the craft tacky glue. And then the second pretzel, I'm going to pop up with these thin 3D foam squares just to give it that little bit more dimension. So these fit perfectly on the back of that pretzel. So I just went around, filled that, peeled off the backing and then pop this into place. And since I had that popped up, I also popped up the little speech bubble sentiment to kind of, you know, tie everything together. So I'm going to pop that into place. And then um, the long sentiment I'm going to adhere with the craft tacky glue. And that one I die cut with the sentiment labels and then I run it through again with the little fishtail end to give it that fun little end. And then I'm going to adhere that with craft tacky glue and same thing, just flip my card over and trim off the excess with my scissors using just the edge of the card as a guide. And this is a standard A2 size card, so four and a quarter by five and a half. So I adhere that in place. And then my little die cut sending word, I can just peel off the backing and adhere that into place. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the dot to the eye, peel off the backing with my die pick and then just kind of stick it to the very tip of my die pick. So I can just kind of pull it off with my finger and stick it into place. So get that adhered and then do the same thing with a dot to the eye. And yeah, I'm actually kind of shocked. I didn't lose um, more often than not, I end up losing and either having to re die cut things or like I said, just using one layer, whatever works. So got that adhered. And then I wanted to add a few little embellishments just to kind of tie everything together. So I have these doodle bug um, heart sprinkles in, from different packs and there was some aqua ones and some yellow ones. And then I also pulled out just the regular bonbon sprinkles and just to pull in more of the brown color to kind of tie everything together. So I'm just going to peel those off and stick those into place on my card front. And that's going to finish off the card front. And then for the inside of the card, I decided since I put pretty much everything on the outside of the card for this one. I'm going to keep the inside really simple. There's two little cute pretzel stamps in the I Choose You stamp set. So I just put those onto an acrylic block and I'm just using that same khaki ink that I used at the beginning. I'm just going to stamp these kind of along, along the side of the inside of the card. And I'm just going to ink up the stamp, stamp it once and without re-inking it, stamping it a second time just along the edge. So, so you get two different shades of that same ink just to kind of give it a cute little extra something something. So after I get the inside stamped with those little pretzels, that is going to finish off my card. So like I mentioned in the beginning, this is part of this week's color throwdown challenge. So I will have a link to that in my blog post. I'll have a supply list with links to everything I showed and talked about, etc. So I will have links to all that 
in the description box below the video, as well as on my blog. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs upping and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.